Hello there, people, place things, and other things. Um, uh, I don't even know what I was going to say there. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I am back. Uh, I've enjoyed the questions I've got so far. Please keep posting questions. If you didn't watch my video last week, which, I mean, honestly, what the hell, go watch that. Uh, I am coming up with some movie video ideas, and one of them was that I would answer questions that you guys had for me. I'll probably do that next week, give you some time to think up more questions, maybe with this video. Who knows? Um, but uh, in the meantime, I have some reading I need to catch up on. Uh, because you know there's a movie coming out soon, and that's going to be so exciting. I'm going to have to go see that. And... <laughs> um, anyways, here we are. Um, if you don't remember where we last left off, I was reading a bunch of emails that was really boring and stupid, like always. Um, and now here we go. Okay. For the first time in my life, I voluntarily go for a run. I find my nasty, never-used sneakers, some sweatpants, and a t-shirt. If they've never been used sneakers, they probably shouldn't be nasty. I don't know what you do with your sneakers that you don't use, but they probably shouldn't be nasty. Kate is walking from her car as I head out to the door. She nearly drops her shopping bags when she sees me. Anna's stealing sneakers. I wave and don't stop for the Inquisition. Oh my god! The Inquisition! The Kate Kavanaugh Inquisition! All she would have gone like, hey, are you, why are you wearing sneakers? Oh, I'm going for a run. That's it. That's all she would ask. I figure that it just sets up the parameters of the relationship. It illustrates what I can expect from him and what he expects from me. My total submission. And I, am I prepared to give him that? Am I even capable? Well, you are capable, Anastasia, because you literally do nothing in your life. You are submissive with almost everything in your life. So the fact that you are ha struggling to think about being totally submissive is beyond me. Because really, you are just the most submissive, the most submissive protagonist I've ever read. The only time you're not submissive is when you're stuck in his dick, but even then you do it submissively. I stop beside a large spruce and put my hands on my knees. She's run for a page and she's already tired. Breathing hard, dragging precious air into my lungs. Oh, this feels good. Cathartic. I feel my resolve hardening. <laughs> you know what else is going to be hard than Anastasia? It's Christian Grey's member. Next time he sees ya, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what that voice was. Kate has been shopping as only she can for clothes for her vacation to Barbados. Mainly bikinis and matching sarongs. She will look fabulous in all of them, yet she still makes me sit and comment when she tries on each and every one. There are only so many ways one can say, You look fabulous, Kate. You just look fabulous. You look so fabulous, Kate. Just wear that everywhere. Don't, don't take it off. Just let's go to dinner, but you're wearing that. Can I feel any more inadequate? Probably. Taking the awesome free technology with me, I set the laptop on my desk, I email Christian, okay, I swear to God, I do not care that you got this for free. Believe me, that was established in the chapter wherever you got this damn laptop that it was for free. You do not need to keep establishing that this laptop is free when you established in two chapters or however many ago, I can't even remember, that you got the laptop for free. It doesn't matter anymore. I could care less that it's free. Every time she gets on the laptop, I know, just the way this author writes, that she's going to bring up that computer was free, by the way. Do you remember that? Do you remember that one time where Christian bought her the, book, the laptop? Yeah, this one was free. He didn't charge her for it. Oh, good. We're reading emails again. From Anastasia Seal. Subject, shocked, shocked of S W S U V, Made uh, to Christian Gray. Okay, I've seen enough. It was nice knowing you, Anna. <laughs> oh, that wasn't very submissive. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I know I'm not wrong. You want to know how I know I'm not wrong? Because there's a whole freaking book left. It didn't end after that line. Like, if she had taken control of her life and realized how fucked up this guy was, it, the book literally would have ended with this email. It would have just ended, okay, I've seen enough. It was nice knowing you, Anna. That would have been it. But it's not, as we can see. I wait and wait. I glance at my alarm clock. Ten minutes have passed. Holy shit! Ten minutes! Jesus, Anastasia, send him another email saying that you're really sorry for telling him a joke. But when I do, he's standing in the doorway in my bedroom, watching me intently. He's wearing his gray flannel pants and a white linen shirt, gently twirling his car keys. I pull my earbuds out and freeze. Fuck! Okay, that's kind of creepy. That's kind of creepy. You send him an email. I don't know how much time has transpired since you sent the email. 
but you send them an email saying that, hey, it was nice knowing you, we're not going to do this anymore, and he shows up at your doorway. Not creepy at all, right girls? I mean, who doesn't love a guy that just mysteriously gets into their house? I sure can't probably let him, in, let him in, but that's not the point. Who doesn't love a guy that mysteriously shows up to your house when you just send him an email saying that you will not, you, it was nice seeing you? Joke or not, that's still odd, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it odd? It's also odd that he has a contract for sex, but you know, I'm just letting that one slide. Good evening, Anastasia. His voice is cool. <laughs> yep, got that. Check. I felt, I felt that your email warranted a reply in person, he explains dryly. You, well, That's creepy. That's creepy. Anastasia just tell him, hey, thanks, but no thanks. Now get the hell out of here. But that's not going to happen. Oh, my God, I've got so much more to read. Never is this, never in this or any alternative universe did I expect him to drop any, any, everything and turn up here. I don't, this, this author just really bugs me. Cause she just, she just kind of elaborates in places that it's not necessary. Like in in this last sentence, never in this or any alternative universe. Why? 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 Why can't he just never what I've expected? But never in this. It's just it's it's like somebody trying to be creative and trying not to make the writing dull. But really, what it is is just forced. Like Anastasia is. I, I'm sorry. She's not the most bright protagonist in the world. I mean, she she isn't. She doesn't. She's very passive. She's very submissive. And the fact that I don't think that Anastasia Steele sits around wondering like, hmm, alternative universes. Like that's not a thing she does. And you could just say like, well, you know, maybe she was just like, hey, well, I don't think in this or an alternate universe. And let's let's get into alternate universes real quick right here. In an alternate universe. If Christian Grey didn't show up to her door, in an alternate universe, it probably would have, because alternate universes are stem from the idea that one choice stems one universe and one choice stems the other universe. So his choice could have been, oh, fuck Anastasia, I'll never come back again. And that would be one universe. But in the other universe, he would have showed up at her door. So it doesn't even make sense when you really think about it. I'm not a nerd. I wonder what your bedroom would look like, he says. I glance around it, plotting an escape route. Nope, there's still the only door, only the door or window. My room is functional, but cozy. Spo okay, so I'm not, I'm not reading this next part because it's literally just an explanation of her bedroom. I've seen her bedroom multiple times. I, I have it pictured in my head. I don't need to know the white wicker furniture, whatever the other fucking thing she just wrote down. But I don't need to know that. I don't need to know that, and I'm not going to read it. I refuse to read it. I swear to God, if this author writes around one more thing about furniture, I'm just gonna lose it. It's very serene and peaceful in here, he murmurs. Not at the moment, not with you here. Finally, my medulla oblongata recalls its purpose. I breathe. How? That's just another... Just reading that sentence. Reading that sentence is so awkward. I mean, isn't it? It's just so awkward. My medulla oblongata has remembered its purpose. Like... She just is like, what what makes somebody breathe? Like, what controls that? I'll look it up. Medulla oblongata. Oh, medulla, my medulla oblongata remembers its purpose. It's so unnecessary. It's just her trying to go, look, I'm smart. I'm so smart. I'm writing smut, but I'm going to be smart about it. Smart, smart, smut. Smart, smut. It's a new genre, and I'm making it. It's going to be great. My mental oblongata has remembered its purpose. So stupid. This book is terrible. Just, just blow him. Just blow him right now. Just go, my medulla oblongata remembers its purpose. I blow him. Well, I thought I should come and remind you of how nice it was knowing me. Holy crap. I stared at him open mouth. Oh, my God, do that. His lips are parted, he's waiting, coiled to strike. Desire, acute, liquid, and smoldering. Combusts deeply in my belly. Also, just the word smoldering got me thinking of this. Do you know that girls, and some guys do it too, they have something called a smolder. And it's the look they give to someone across a bar or somewhere that they find them attractive. And, um, you know, I've been working on my smolder, because, you know, it's... I. I'm not always good about engaging in those type of situations where I find someone attractive like that. 
So I'm working on a small draw. I like to look to portray that fact. And so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look down, and then you guys like will have to rate me one to ten on it. Okay? This beautiful man wants me. My inner goddess glows so bright she could light up Portland. My inner goddess, just don't. 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 Just don't. 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 I mean, you tried it. Let's not anymore. Let's just let the inner goddess thing go. Because that's just kind of... Weird. Trust me, he breathes. I nod, wide-eyed, my heart bouncing off my ribs, my blood thundering through my body. And if you guys were looking for some sex, I think we're about to get some, and you'll be so exciting. It's gonna be dirty today. It's gonna be a little dirty rating. It's a little well back, welcome back dirty rating. Just, it's gonna be... I'm, I'm just a little flushed right now. Like, I might have to pause the video and just take care of myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to. He moves so quickly, sitting astride me as he fastens my wrists together. But this time, he ties the other end of the tie to, to one of the spokes of my white iron headboard. He pulls out my binding, checking it secure. So she's tied to the bed now. That's, that's nice. That's, that's nice. That's, that's gonna be exciting. I'm not going anywhere. I'm tied, literally, to my bed, and I'm so aroused. I like that she had to say, I'm tied literally to my bed, when I literally just read that she was tied to her bed. It's like I cannot literally believe that she was literally tied to her bed when I literally just literally read what she literally said. Literally a sentence before. Literally. Literally. I don't. I didn't think he was like tying you there figuratively. Although now literally means both figuratively and literally, which that doesn't make any goddamn sense. But let's not let's not get into that. You know, this is just happy fun time. It's just happy fun time. That's that for now. Um, I don't know. I hope that was good. My camera's just I think running low on battery, so I should have charged it more so I could do more. But um, we'll end it right before the good stuff happens. So, I don't even know what I'll name this one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, uh, I'll be making more of those, uh, and more frequently, uh, probably make them, we'll make these on a weekly basis, but a bi-weekly basis or so, I mean, that's one of my solid series, um, as much as I hate it, <laughs> um, but, as I said before, keep asking me questions, next week I'll do one of the question things, um, that I was going to do uh, previously. Also, I am going to answer one question I was asked, and that is, do I have a presence on social media? And I do. I have a Facebook page that I, I, I made it a while ago, and I posted it in one of my videos. I'll make sure to post it in the link, and I'm also going to be making a Tumblr, uh, not a Tumblr, a Twitter. Maybe a Tumblr, but a Twitter. Um, so if I, uh, I don't know if I'll make it before I upload this video or not, but if I do, it'll be in the description. Uh, if not, it will be in the description for next week's video. As I said, I'm going to be doing these weekly. I promise. Got my tripod. I'm so excited. And good things are coming. Uh, let me know about my video ideas. I know you guys love my whiteboard videos, so I'm going to be thinking of ideas of things I can do for the whiteboard videos uh, and stuff like that. So it would be fun. Um, and I think that'll be it for today. Until next time, go on a moose hunt. Bye.